Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my October favorites. This month I actually have a lot of items to share with you guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I think I want to start off with like the base. So foundation, one of my favorite foundations of the moment, like currently, is the Marc Jacobs Foundation. This is the Marvelous Mousse Foundation, and I'm in the shade 26 bisque medium this foundation is so luxurious i know mark jacobs sounds so expensive but the best part is i purchased it at marshall's if you have not watched that video it's a wear test on this foundation i'll leave it linked down below i believe i paid like 12.99 or $14.99. I also got the matching powder to this foundation, I believe, or the Perfection Powder by Marc Jacobs and 240 Bisque. Both of these items, I purchased them at Marshall's. That's been like my biggest thing this month, um, or like most viewed video, I believe, this month. And it's crazy. You guys really seem to like it. Um, and it was a lot of fun, you know, being able to find Marc Jacobs at Marshall's. Like to me, that's crazy. But back to the foundation, this foundation is very long wearing it is full coverage like there is no doubt about it my favorite way to apply it though is with my fingers and it does come with this little thing keep this because this is going to keep it like more hydrating more moisturizing if you take this out it's going to probably dry out so I always make sure to seal it and this is what mine is currently looking like and I just go ahead and go in like this with my finger and kind of warm up the product on the back of my hand. I feel like that helps a lot. And then I just like do lines on my face. And then I get a damp sponge and I go in and blend it out. And it blends out so easily. Like look at that. It looks beautiful. And it's very very full coverage. The only thing is that with this foundation, I, it does take me longer to apply, blend out, like all that. It takes longer, which is because of like the packaging and it is a thicker consistency. If you're not careful, this foundation may take longer to blend out if you over apply. It is buildable, but I don't really tend to have to go in and do a lot of like building up because for me, it's pretty full coverage. And I do want to say if you do have dry areas in your skin, Skin. you should moisturize like moisturize heavily if you're going to use this foundation because it does kind of have like a matte finish is what it claims and it does dry down I work quickly with this product I go ahead and do do what I showed you guys warm it up and then apply it and then once I get enough on one side I go ahead and blend it out with my sponge I have not used it with a brush I personally do not like using brushes so I just blend mine out with a sponge and as for the powder the powder is beautiful it's creamy it's so like soft it does not like feel cakey it's a very smooth powder it's a very luxurious formula it's Marc Jacobs I mean I wouldn't expect anything less if this was chalky or chunky or just not smooth at all I would not even be wasting my time talking about it I probably would have just returned it if it was not worth it but I think this is amazing um would I purchase it though? I mean, these two products, I'm mentioning them because I purchased them at Marshall's and I got a really good deal on them. Look for them and try and get a good deal on them. I can spend that type of money on an eyeshadow palette or even maybe a foundation. I've never spent over 50, I believe, on a foundation, but it's just to me a lot of money for just a powder so try and get a good deal on it I am saying they are amazing I just cannot recommend something that's so expensive and it's like for the base you get what I mean it's not even eyeshadow or like a highlighting palette or anything it's just a powder as much as I love it I want to say try and get a good deal on it but if you're willing to pay the money they're amazing they are just such great products but they are pricey so just keep that in mind moving on to these three products these are creams this is the aliote face paint lip and cheek tint this is the benefit what's up highlighter and the hula quickie contour stick i'm gonna go ahead and swatch all three of them for you guys so this is the blush highlight and the quickie contour stick 
they are so beautiful and extremely pigmented this month i did a video testing these out and i was blown away at how much i loved them and how much i've actually ended up using them if my skin was doing good um towards the end of the month my skin has not been you know my favorite but during the beginning of the month my skin was doing better uh beginning mid month it was doing really good and I was using this like a very light concealer and then these products and my skin looked beautiful like it was glowing it looked like it had barely any products on which I loved a very minimal look and these products were amazing for it and I totally recommend them if you love like cream products those are great cream products I do set my creams with a light translucent powder I just can't stand the feeling of liquids on my face even though they are creams and they kind of set I need it to be matte even though I have dry skin I just cannot stand the consistency of it being like creamy on my skin and sticking with like the skin <laughs> I forgot how much I love the Maybelline concealer. This is a Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 01 Light. And it's such a creamy concealer. It gives really nice coverage. I would say almost full coverage. Maybelline does a really great job with their concealers. So this is definitely one of my favorites. I've used this before like many, many times. I've gone through like four or five of these. I had this in like my new products to try drawer and Oh, I pulled it out and I was like, you are not new. I've been looking for you. So yeah, I've been loving this once again. And next, I'm going to go ahead and talk about powders. I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to powders. So I recently tried the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade 01 Natural. This is such an affordable bronzer. It's a huge, huge pan. And I feel like it's such a good bronzer for, of course, lighter skin tones. They do have one that's a little bit deeper, but I mean, only two. Doesn't really fit like a huge variety of skin tones. But for me, I like it. I feel like it's kind of like the butter bronzer, but a little bit like lighter. It's like a light wash and I really like it. It is buildable. It's very smooth, creamy. It's easy to apply. It's not choppy at all. Like when I apply it, it doesn't like skip or make like my bronzer or just look weird it's actually really nice and I mean I've also used this as a quick little shadow in my crease as well it's a great powder super affordable and I purchased mine at Ulta and now for blush so first we have the Burt's Bees blush in the shade bare peach which is such such a beautiful blush and now we have this little Too Faced one in the shade love hangover and I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. These two blushes, like, I have been using them so much. It's actually ridiculous. Like, these were, like, the main blushes I was wearing this month. Like, I'm not even playing. And they're both very similar in color as well. Just the Too Faced one is a little bit more on the pink side, whereas the Burt's Bees one is a lot like peachier so this is the Too Faced one right here is the Burt's Bees one I know it's very soft and I did like a heavy swatch but I mean it's a very peachy blush I feel like they both kind of have like a light sheen on them they last a really long time but I love them both equally like I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of this Too Faced one. I want it like this is a sample size as well. Like this is not full size, but Too Faced is expensive, so I'm pretty sure it'll be like twenty dollars for a blush. But um, these have definitely been like my go-to's this month. Like one day I'll wear this one, one day I'll wear this one. I switch off. Sometimes I mix them. I love them. And my like not I don't want to say go-to highlighter, but if I wanted to get like glam and I knew I was going somewhere or I just wanted my highlight to pop this was what I was using all month long it's the Smashbox spotlight palette in the shade pearl this was in collaboration with Casey Holmes this is actually kind of like a sample size and it was in the little kit where I got two eyeshadow sets and the highlighter palette and so this is what it looks like 
it is absolutely beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them so this shade right here is blow a fuse pearl crank it up pearl and turn it on pearl these are beautiful so so pigmented and the formula is actually very smooth like i can easily blend it out on my hand it's beautiful um this definitely was a favorite i was using it all the time like i found myself getting ready to go to the grocery store and pulling this out and i was like oh my goodness i don't need to blind anyone with my highlight at the grocery store and i would still apply a ton of this um a little bit does go away a long way so i don't even know why i said i apply a ton of this because this is just so intense like i know i already have highlights on but i'm just going to take a little bit tap it off let me get a mirror and apply and it's just so so beautiful like that just made my highlighter pop so much more it's not like I needed more but just to demonstrate I have done videos with it using it and it's just blinding it's so so beautiful the formula is amazing I actually want to go and purchase the full size before like it's gone i don't know if it's permanent or limited edition i hope it's permanent because this i this little trio is amazing i know um casey did create a like bronze version so this is like the pearl and then i think there's like a bronzy version so if you do have a deeper skin tone you will be able to get a blinding glow because this formula like i said is amazing like it's comparable to Becca and Becca like it's like $38 I believe for one highlighter and this is I in the $30 range for three and the pans are pretty big mine are small because again this is a sample size but in the actual thing I believe they are a little bit bigger so I definitely recommend it creamy buttery smooth and just perfect like I believe this is probably like the highlighting palette of the year because it's just so good like to me it's like my number one right now and sticking with smashbox the smashbox ablaze eyeshadow palette is so so good um i have used it quite a bit this month the reason i say it's a favorite though is because of the colors like this is the eyeshadow palette for fall like this is so perfect and smashbox has really great like shadows they are very smooth and pigmented like let me go ahead and swatch a couple of them i believe i might use this palette for my thanksgiving look because i just feel like so inspired when i look at this like i think of thanksgiving fall like october even though october is already gone like so here's some of the swatches some of the colors they're very pretty these are some of the shimmers so let me know if you guys would like to see like a thanksgiving makeup tutorial and i might actually upload it on thanksgiving day like super super early in the morning so if any of you guys want inspo um i'll upload like the look i'm doing that morning so i'll probably wake up super early film edit and then upload it by like six in the morning let me know if you guys would like to see that because i upload anyways i believe thanksgiving's always on a thursday and i upload on thursday so might as well have it be like a last minute thanksgiving makeup tutorial but i think i might use this eyeshadow palette because it just is so pretty but first i have to see what i'm gonna wear <laughs> and lastly are the lippies that i loved this month so first we have the elf lip lacquer in the shade natural this is it right here it's so beautiful it's a beautiful lip gloss and this was a dollar i found it on my dollar tree i purchased it because they had like so many of them i was like might as well give it a try and it's so beautiful it's such a creamy product and it's not like a gloppy gloss either it's actually really nice and it stays on the lips for a very long time and the color is very opaque it's not like it's a sheer lip gloss but it is kind of like on the nudie color so you might want to mix it but i honestly love it and next we have this Too faced lipstick in the shade naked dolly i tried this out and i know i said i probably wouldn't 
purchase like the full size of this but after using it as much as I have this month I think I might purchase the full size once I start running low on this so again this is in the shade Naked Dolly and it is right here it is a lipstick but it is so beautiful it's like the perfect color your lips but better and it gives your lips that like perfect like sheen without being glossy and I just can't believe I haven't ran out because I've been using this so much this month like I look in the mirror oh instead of lip balm let me just apply this real quick like it's pretty much lived in my little makeup bag and my purse almost all month long so I'm happy I haven't lost it but I probably will be purchasing the full size and the last two items are these Tarte lip sculptors ones in the shade vip and ones in the shade life so right here we have the shade vip and right here we have the shade life and now that i'm looking at it i feel like the tarte and the Too faced one look very similar on my hand but i do feel like the Too faced one is a lot creamier and it has like more of that sheen so i do feel like the Too faced one was more of a favorite because i did use it a lot more but i mean overall these were all the products that i loved for this month i know they were a lot of them but i was just trying a lot this month and i'm really happy that I had something to share with you guys. I feel like the last few months it's been very minimal, but this month was quite a bit of products and hopefully next month there'll be more favorites as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!